Hi, I'm Catherine with The Old Country Porch, where you can find a huge selection of amazing handmade products. You can find the links below to my Etsy shops and to theoldcountryporch.com. So today I'm really excited because I'm gonna be making rainbow soap. I tried to make this last week and it was a huge fail. So I've made some adjustments to the recipe and I think I've got it figured out. So let's make some soap. So I have my oils and my lye water ready. And this is my normal recipe. It's made with eight plant oils, so it's vegan friendly and it's palm free. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix in my lye water. Now I'm going to divide this into seven equal parts. I've pre-mixed these colors with some oil so they'll blend in easier and I'm going to stir them in by hand and then stick blend them when I add the fragrance right before I pour each color. I'm going to save a little bit out so I can put it on the top for the mica swirl. So the top layer is going to be white and I've put some shimmery mica in it. And I had never done a mica swirl before and that was the other problem that I had. There was way too much color and it all blended together into a brown color. It was horrible. So I'm gonna to try to just do a little bit on the top this time and see if that works out. Let me grab a bar from the last one to show you what it looked like. So this is the bar. See the layers, some of them didn't bond at all. All of these are coming apart. And then the top uh, was horrible. It was way, way too much color. So I'm gonna do less is more today. Now this color of green, it's gonna turn a mossy brown color. It's really, really an ugly color when you add the fragrance oil, but then it comes right back to this bright green color. So the fragrance I'm using today is called Rainbow's End by Bulk Apothecary. And it's a dupe from a popular candle company, but I've never smelled the actual candle. But it smells clean and fresh, like rain, and has a little bit of a floral and maybe a little musk in there. It just smells really comfortable and clean, and it's probably one of my top five favorite scents. And this top layer also has titanium dioxide in it to make sure that it stays really, really white. So now that I have the colors mixed in, I'm going to add the fragrance 
to each one, mix it, and then pour, it, pour each one of them. a swirl again. chopstick and just do a little swirl. Well that one definitely turned out better on top at least than the other one did. So I'm going to let this sit for at least 24 hours, but then I'll be back to cut it. So I'm back the next day to cut the soap. I'm a little bit worried that it's going to be too hard to cut through. So hopefully we don't break any strings on the cutter today. ended up really good compared to what it looked like last time. Well, some of these layers poured really good. Oops, forgot to take out the brackets. Some of the layers turned out really, or poured really good, and then some of them did not. You can see the edges of the blue and green. They didn't pour very well, and the red did too. turn out too bad. The layers aren't completely straight. 
great, but they're pretty good. Compared to the last one, I'll, I'll take this one. So hopefully the next one will be even better. But the tops turned out really pretty. I think that the reason that some of the layers poured easier than the others is because I must have just been mixing them for just a few seconds longer for the layers that turned out hard. But these other ones look pretty good. can't believe how hard it is to cut through it. They smell so good. So these will be in my Etsy shop at the end of mid to end of July. So they're gonna take longer to cure since I didn't use a water discount. And I wanted the tops to have a little bit of each color on them, so that worked out putting rows on them. Uh, overall, I'm happy with them. They they turned out way better than the, the ones that I did last week, so. And they smell so, so good. So that's the finished bar. If you want to order these, you can order them from my Etsy. I don't think I'll put them on the oldcountryporch.com yet, I'll put these on Etsy first and then eventually I'll add them to the oldcountryporch.com. But if you want to order these or any of my other soaps, you can find the links below. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, then hit the subscribe button. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.